You guys, you guys missed it. <laughs> you guys missed it. <clears throat> oh my God. I opened the door. Like I sat in a room for like a minute. I opened the door and there was a guy right in my face fucking face. I slammed the door in his face. I ran into the locker. He wasn't playing that shit. He came straight to my locker, opened that shit up, and punched me in the fucking face. And so I ran, and now I'm, I'm in another room, and I'm hiding.
there's too much going on. <clears throat> there's too much going on. Key card. Where is the damn key card? I'd be out there. Oh, fuck!
I want to go back to more. Please, let me go back to more. I want to go see more. I want to go to the kitchen. I want to go to the kitchen. Lockers, lockers, lockers. Why are there no more lockers? Every motherfucking light in my apartment. <laughs>
look, okay, I was doing good. I was getting away from him. You can't fucking do that to people. You can't do that to people. You can't have some asshole stick his head in this small crevice where you're crawling in. That's a very scary game. That's a very, very scary game. I don't have nightmares. I generally have really good dreams. Very vivid dreams. God damn. <laughs> That's a very, very scary dream. I I don't usually have nightmares. I don't, I don't think I'll have nightmares regarding this at all, but still, regardless, it's pretty fucking scary. Yeah, like my dreams are very, very vivid, very real. Like, I had a dream, I, um, I had a very interesting dream the other day. One of my, um, well, I had gone back to Tel Vista, Verizon Fios, where I used to work and do customer support. And the place is being ran by the devil. Like, straight up, Satan was running that place now. He bought the company. And was running it. And all of my friends that were still working there were being subjected to, you know, really bad things. So I managed to sneak in there and I got to um, I got to like the second command's office, which was the original boss. And she had like this this hot tub in there that had like soap and everything in it. And I was in there talking to her, trying to get information out of her, you know, like, what the fuck happened here? And then, like, he knocks on her door, and we're like, oh, fuck, I'm not supposed to be here. And so I got into the hot tub, and I was under the bubbles. But she also had this other, like, mermaid chick in there or something. She had, like, a mermaid in her hot tub. And... Like when I was underwater while he was talking to her, I could hear her, I could hear him talking to her. And the mermaid would, you know, come down every now and then and like give me air. <laughs> you know, kiss of life, you know. But after he left, I came back, I got back out of the tub. And you're like, okay, I was like, 
we, I was like, hey, I gotta get rid of this guy. Uh, I can't let him subject you guys to this bullshit. And there was like other like demons and shit working there. Like there was skeletons working there, like demons and other shit working in the call center. I don't really specifically remember what he was doing wrong to everyone that was working there, <laughs> but I knew I had to stop him. And uh, he wasn't a very easy guy to get a hold of there. So what I did was I ran out onto the call center floor and jumped up on the cubicle and started calling his ass out. Like his office was like up there in like in a corner in like one of those little, you guys know when you go to like a ballpark or whatever, they have like those sky seats or whatever. He had like that kind of thing that had glass. So you could, you can't see him, but he could see you. And so I did a command mail wave and I blasted his glass out of his fucking office. And then I special beam cannon all his degrees and all his photos on his wall. Just reduced that shit to cinders. <laughs> Bachelor's degree and shit. Everything that was on his wall, I just reduced the fucking cinders. You know, that's uh, there's two things. Two things that I do in my dreams very often. And I usually use these two things to... Actually, three things. Three things that I do in my dreams that I use as a basically a test to see what I'm capable of doing in my dream. Some dreams I have more control over what I do than others. The three things I try is going through walls or like a floor or a ceiling or something, flying, or Dragon Ball Z like beams and shit. <laughs> if I can do Dragon Ball Z shit, I know I'll be all right. If I usually going through walls and stuff, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. It just depends on the dream. And flying, it really does depend on the dream as well. Sometimes I may not be able to just outright fly the way I want to, so I might have to figure out a different way of doing it. Like I might have to get a Mario cape, or I might have to fly on Articuno or some shit. It just depends. My dreams are first person. Like, um, the other dream I had recently that was really fucking real was pretty damn fucking creepy. I mean, it was, it didn't scare me per se, but it was pretty fucking creepy. Like, I was just, like, I just, like, woke up in this dream, and a common theme for my dreams, especially my most vivid ones, are, like, theme parks, hotels, um, universities or schools, malls, theaters, just really big, like, facilities. And um, the, the one I had was particularly about, like, a, an amusement park. And I was just walking around the amusement park, you know, everything was all good, there was rides and shit. And I went to the store, and inside the store, there was like, there was like just tons of old video games, like the most nostalgic fucking video games. And not just that, but they had the greatest fucking posters. They, it, it, this store went on for miles in this place. And this was in an amusement park. And I was just flipping my shit. I'm like, they're selling these old ass like Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo in the package for five cents? The fuck is going on here? The original Super Nintendo in the original package, brand new, unopened for ten dollars? I'm like, what the fuck is going on in here? And like there was a whole bunch of other people in there and they're also like running around like, oh my god, this place is great. But you know, I, I kept feeling like I just wanted to look at more shit. I didn't want to leave. I just wanted to look at more stuff. So I, would, I just kept running around and just finding all these different things. And I stopped one person. I'm like, can you believe this? Look at this shit right here. I, I was like, this is like the most amazing thing ever. And they're like, um, no, I don't think so. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Are you kidding me? And then, like, um, someone, someone, like, pushed me, and I hit my head. And for, like, a split second, the whole place kind of looked like it was, like, a rundown, empty, 
like warehouse or whatever. It looked very dark for like a fraction of a second. And I got back up and I was like, the fuck was that? And so I like picked something up and it was like an old copy of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I went over to somebody, I was like, what is this? And they're like, it looks like you picked up a piece of trash. And I was like, what do you have? And the guy was like, just like some of the rarest fucking action figures you'll ever fucking see in your life. But I was just kind of like, hmm. And then as I started walking around, I saw like the employees started watching me. Like they literally started watching me. And then when I posted me, I was like, sir, is everything okay? I was like, hmm, I don't know. I really don't know. I was like, where's your exit? And they're like, um, I'm new here. I don't 